5 tonight, an activist is claiming the Detroit Archdiocese is dragging its feet in exposing pedophile priests, and he claims he's got proof. And these new claims come on the same day Governor Whitmer requested $2 million to investigate clergy sex abuse. Rod Maloney following the story and has reaction from church leadership. Outside the Archdiocese of Detroit Chancery this morning, a small protest took shape. David Clossy, former national president of SNAP, the survivor's network of those abused by priests, declared Archbishop Alan Vigneron's handling of the priest abuse scandal insufficient. We believe that the Detroit Archbishop is being less than honest with his list of credibly accused priests. Here's an example. Online, the diocese names more than five dozen clerics with Detroit ties, but this former priest's name is not there. This is James Francis Rapp, an inmate at Bellamy Creek Correctional Facility in Ionia, serving 40 years on six counts of criminal sexual conduct. He once worked as a priest at the Lumen Christi High School in Jackson, Michigan. Clossy has 29 other names that he wants added to the list after this one. And we think that the Archbishop should stop splitting hairs and making silly distinctions and include on his list every single priest, brother, nun, seminarian, monk, bishop who spent time here if they were incredibly accused of abuse. So we called the Archdiocese and it put out this statement, quote, as a result of these concerns, the Archdiocese will carefully re-examine each name on our current list as well as the source information provided by the religious orders. If we discover any oversight on our part, it will be corrected immediately, end quote. Now, both of those lists that we talked to you about there have mostly either deceased or elderly priests, but Clossy says it's not about the clergy. He says it's about the victims, many of whom do not talk about it or have not reported. He urges all of them to come forward and report. Karen, back to you. All right. Thank you, Rod.